Okay, so we're gonna start with playing Harant tonight, so let's play E4. I'm gonna turn the music on, just give me one second. Um, let's play a Bond Cloud. Let's let's get it let's get ourselves in the mood. Let's get ourselves in the mood to have a fun night of chess, everybody. So um uh thank you, Sp Spain LF for the three month resub. Let's play C3. Are we eligible for athlete visas? Uh, no, we aren't. Now, you guys tell me the music is okay. I'm just going to turn it down just a touch. Um, is the sound still okay on the music? Okay, A5. He wants to go like B6, so I'm just going to play Bishop G2, maybe Knight F3, maybe King E1. Um, he takes, I'll take. Probably B6. Wants to go Bishop A6, Bishop D3. Um, I guess let's just go King E1 and maybe Knight F3 or Knight C3. Uh... Let's play bishop f1, try to trade, um, trade off bishops. Uh, I don't know if he's threatening to move the knight, so I guess I'll play bishop e3. Idea maybe bishop b5, maybe f3 at some point, although I did give knight g4. Okay, now I play f3, no knight g4, no bishop c5. Um, I could play a4 here. Let's play a4, fix the structure. Probably try to develop the knight to, to b3 or c4. Maybe knight h3, knight, knight f2. Uh, maybe bishop b5 or bishop c4 also. So this looks pretty good for me. So he plays knight e8. Let's play uh, knight d2. I guess he wants to play for f5. So I'll play knight c4. Try to trade the knights. Maybe rook d1. Um, bishop c4 is coming as well. Can I play the king's indian? Absolutely. Just, um, okay. Is he threatening bishop e6 or not? Uh, I'll play rook d1. Okay, bishop e6. No actual threat. I guess I'll take. If cd6, I have queen f2, so he takes with the bishop. Maybe knight h3. Try to go knight g5. Hit the bishop on e6. Pilaporka says, destroy that guy! He beat my grandma! I will try my best, Pilaporka. Okay, let's try to continue the exchanging pieces. The more pieces that come off, the better this becomes for me with my king being unable to castle here, so I will take. Um... I mean, I guess I'm going to have to go king e2 or king f2 anyway. Um, I could play rook d5. I don't really love it. Um, how do I do this? Or not queen f2. How do I get my king to the right square? I guess I will just play king f2 trade to go king g2. Um, I should be okay here. My king is safe now. Knight b4, I go queen e2. Knight d4, I have queen f2. Um, so I look to be doing okay here. Okay, I can play queen d3 as well maybe. Uh, queen f2 is logical as well. I think I'll just play queen d3. He has to go like knight e6 or knight c6. And now I can play queen b5 or just queen e2. And now I've completely equalized or maybe not quite. He's got this one. Okay, so let's try to trade the queens then. Um, and then I'll go knight f2, knight g4. Bye-bye, castling. Yes, I can't castle, but um, I should be okay here. I can always trade rooks maybe. I can also play like rook d5. Um... Touch unpleasant here. Just a touch unpleasant. I guess... How do I want to play this? I can play rook d8. I don't want to do that. Maybe uh, knight g4, knight d3 could be a slight issue. I could play h... Let's just play h4. Idea to play h5. Okay, he plays h5. Um, I can play g4. Rook d5 is also a move I'm looking at. I think I'm just going to play g4 and take with the pawn. Um, try to open it up a little bit more. I'm way down on the clock, so I need to speed up. Um... Let's see if he takes or plays like 96. Um, I've just got to speed up. I'm moving too slowly. Um, King f8. Let's play maybe g5. Try to get the fix. King f3. Now I've got knight g4 to hit the pawn. Um, now I'll go knight g4. He'll probably trade. I've got 95 knight c6 check now. So this is looking better and better for me. I'm, I'm still maybe slightly worse, but... Um, uh, if I play rook d2, what does he have? 91, king e2 a3 takes and rook d1 or, or knight e3 knight d5 still sharp still very very sharp a3 maybe b4 as well um okay b4 a2 looks wrong takes knight e3 i've got knight d5 takes takes no good discoveries my rooks are on good squares um knight f4 that's a logical move i can trade i guess and play rook c1 um thank you professor pass for the five month resub um um probably knight g4 to hit the pawn this way and maybe let's try to play for the win with rook d1 here um knight h6 or knight f6 now he's got serious issues uh check maybe rook d3 idea knight d7 
Okay, now I get the pawn. Now I should be able to flag him here if I play this correctly. Um, okay, knight g4. I'm just going to go right back to f6. Uh, maybe king e3, king f3. Or king f2 because I still have the check, so this is good. Let's pre-move it. Uh, maybe king g3. I I'm way up on the clock, so I should be... Oh, I blundered this. Ugh. Okay, let's go king f3, king e3 maybe. King f4. Knight d5. I mean, this is going to be hard to win, but maybe I can flag him. Check and now I win the pawn. Yeah, there we go. Bomb cloud, one for one. Great start. Okay, let's just go knight e3. Okay, king knight d3. Uh, just takes. I've got e5 with the fork. Okay, e5. Now I take. Uh, just takes. c4, dominate all the squares, and knight's dead. Um, just check and takes and takes. All right, one for one. So far, so good. I candy forty six says, "What up, my naka?" Um, hope you're having a wonderful evening. Um, let's play the Karo Khan. Let's let's play the Karo Khan for now. See how it goes. Um, let's play knight c six. F four. Okay, I think knight h six is aligned. E six is also aligned, but I'm gonna play knight h six here. Bishop e3, let's play knight g4, hit the bishop. Um, if you lose the bishop, I think I have check and takes. Or d4, or even b6. This is very... Uh, okay, it does go bishop d2, so I can play like b6. Uh, I think I'm just going to play h5, though. If h3, just knight h6. Okay, knight f3. I can play e6, knight... Let's just go e6. h3, knight, knight h6, knight f5. If b4, I think I just go a5 here. This is going to get very, very sharp. Okay, let's play knight h6. B5, I can play knight B8 or knight A7. Um, very, very sharp. Maybe I even some weird knight D4 and queen H4. So we play C3. I can play D4. I can also play B6. Um, I can also play knight F5, knight G3. A lot of options here. Um, uh, hmm. D4. B5 takes. Um, I don't like D4. I could also play bishop B7. I think I'm just going to play knight f5. Idea to play knight g3 and disrupt his ideas of castling. Um, oh, do I have it on repeat? Oh, no. Uh, wait. Okay, let's just move it around. I'll uh, play knight g3. Force him to move the rook. Okay, so he moves the rook. So now I can maybe play b6, b5. Takes, takes, takes. Knight g1. Very, very sharp. Hard to judge. Um, really, really hard to judge this. I think I'll just play b6. So come b5, I can play knight a7, c6, knight. Or c6, bishop c5 to hit the rook anyway. So, very, very sharp. Okay, plays b5. Now, I can play like knight a7. I can also just take, what about takes and c4? Very, very sharp. I think I'm just gonna sack here. Um, just takes, and I'll play knight e4 here. Thank you to cut to Katrick Norris for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Um, so he takes, and I'll throw in a check at the king, and I've got a bishop a6 check as well coming. Too hard to cross. Okay, so I guess I take now. Bishop a6, he had bishop d3. Very, very sharp position. A lot of tricks here. Queen g3, hit the pawn. Bishop a6. Lack, Big lack of development here for white as well. So queen e1, so he wants to run with the king to d1. I should still throw in the check, and then I think I'll play queen e7. Maybe I castle. Maybe I just play rook d8. I think I'll just go rook d8. So I think I castle here in the king safer. If I go this way, you c7 and queen a8. So I've got bishop d3 maybe. I can also just castle. Oh, but I gave him knight d4 maybe. Bishop c4, bishop d5. Still very, very sharp. Not clear at all what's going on. Um, play c4. So I guess he wants knight g5. I can play maybe queen c5, knight g5, I have g6. I've also got queen g1 check. Ah, uh, but he's got knight e6 here. Ugh, and it's just a draw. Okay, I mean, he's got knight e6, and yeah, I mean, it's just a draw. I mean, it's just a draw. King g8, king g7, king h8. Ugh. Unfortunate, but okay. Happens. Okay. Uh, let's just play d3, d4. 
Maybe, um, let's play an end game. I don't know which one I want to play. I'll play knight d2, maybe knight b3. Let's play something unusual here, and maybe f3 here, and bishop e3. Um, I'll play a4. If knight c5, I think I'll just play bishop e3. We'll trade. Uh, thank you, Shlamo, for the four month resub. Four minutes of pure bliss. Thank you for the resub, Shlamo. Um, thank you, four months of pure bliss. Thank you for everything you do, Hikaru. Thank you so much. Also, big shout out to all the mods here. They do, uh, an amazing job um, of, of uh, keeping the atmosphere great here. So big shout out to all the mods, Chess Bay, Mana, T, and everyone else. Uh, the, those guys are the real heroes. Uh, let's play Knight C3. I've got Bishop B5. Okay, plays Knight A6. Interesting. Um, Knight A6 is a very good move. For some reason, I overlooked it. I guess I'll throw in a check and then I'll take. Um, it's not ideal, but it's still something. So... Okay, goes king d8. Wow, that now that I was not expecting. Okay, so I throw in a check. I can take and play knight b. Whoa, king c8, even more unusual. Let's play bishop c4 and trade. Play an end game for move three. Why not? Armenians are famous for their end game technique, so I feel like playing end games. Um, Daniel Wrench says, hey, look at that. I'm a mod too. Oh yes, Mr. Daniel Wrench of, uh, of Denver Open fame. He somehow managed to win the Denver Open. Don't ask me how, but somehow somehow, Mr. Daniel Wrench won the Denver Open with a ridiculous score of four and a half out of five, or at least that's what I heard. I really don't know how that is ever possible for Mr. Daniel Wrench, but somehow he scored four and a half out of five and won the Denver Open. Um, so big, big, big congrats to Daniel Wrench on um, the result of his life. Absolutely the result of all time for Daniel Wrench. Um, me neither, me neither. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's unbelievable. If C6 check hits the king, hits the rook on A8. Uh, if he takes, I just take back. I'm up a pawn here. Um, just clearly up a pawn and much better. Is Ma Are Magnus and MVL the best endgame players? Magnus definitely is. Um, MVL is a very strong player in general, but he's definitely not what I would consider one of the best endgame players. Because um, generally, Maxime plays for a lot of dyna dynamic positions. Um, play Rook D1. I guess we'll play C5, so he never gets B6, King, B7. Um, and my knight is great. His knight's pretty terrible. So it should just be winning. So, um, rook a6, I can move my knight to e3 maybe, knight e3, knight e5, not in love with that, so maybe I'll play knight c3, so on knight e5 I go knight b5, no c6, whereas on, um, and now he also can't swing the rooks, I've got a check, I've got rook d8, I also have f4, rook d7, the knight on e3 doesn't threaten that, so I want to play f4 here, f4, knight c4, rook d7, rook e7, what's going on, um, f4, knight c4, Rook d4 or rook d7? Rook d7, rook at e7. e5, f6. Let's just play rook d5. Now c6, I always have check. Rook e7. Um, I'm going to play b3. No knight c4 tricks. And now I will just start to bring my king in. Although I got to be careful. I'm kind of down on the clock in this game. So let's just, let's just not come back um maybe h ah, i give him g5 okay i guess i'll play rook d2 maybe knight d4 knight f5 makes sense now to hit the pawn i can also play knight c2 knight i think i'm just willing to trade the knights here if not i can play oh i blundered knight a6 uh-oh oh that was a big mistake okay i still play c6 and knight d4 oh, but i gave him knight before oh i'm totally blun bungling this now f5 knight c3 no, I misplayed this. I just blundered that pawn. But he still got double pawns. So this still should be good for me. It's just not clean. Okay, g5. No actual threat. I can play knight f6 to hit the rook, and then I'll just I'll just I'll just tickle him and come back to e4. Or go to d7 maybe. Okay. I'll just tickle and go knight e4. Knight d5, rook c1, hit the pawn. Knight, knight d5 is a really bad move because now I get rook c5 um, and he can't defend the pawn on a5. Wasn't knight, knight a7, king b8 was not checkmate. So takes rook a5 and now this outside pawn is just going to crush him. Knight f4, rook c2, no fork ideas. Rook protects all the pawns and now I just start to run the pawns up the board. Knight e3, I think rook e2 maybe. Knight c4, king b3, knight b6, a5 and it's just winning. Pre-move knight c5. 
Rookie 8, Knight E4 is just winning. Cut him off, Knight F6, King's terrible, passed A pawn, Knight C3. G5 is hanging. Let's just go Rook H5, Rook G5, just smooth it all up. Uh, Rook B8 does nothing, just Knight C5 try to trade. Uh, check, and I've got F4. Let's just play F4. Knight C7 was winning too, but this just leads to an end game. We're uncomfortably better. Okay. Let's play Knight C6. Um, what would Mr. Daniel Wrench here play? Unfortunately, I think Dan Danny doesn't play E5 on move one. Am I going to analyze Danny's games? No, I'm not going to analyze Danny's games. Uh, Dan Danny actually should do a stream with his wins. Um, let's play D6. Um, yeah, let's play something. The best endgame players, I mean, I think Magnus is the best, obviously. Um, I think Levon is pretty solid in endgames. He's pretty good, too. I mean, I, 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 mean, I don't want to say myself, because that's just a little bit silly. Um... But uh, I would say probably Magnus is best. And it's probably like me and Lev, I would say, are right behind. Um, and Fabiano can play very well when he has, if he has a bunch of time on the clock. If Fabiano doesn't have a lot of time, he makes more errors. So that's why I don't want to say Fabiano right off. But um, uh, if I take, he's got what? Queen b3 and takes? Okay, so are we really going to play another endgame? I think we're just going to play another endgame again. Okay, so if you want to make comments about the mods, you guys, um, you know, it's just not going to happen. So let's play a6, stop, knight, b5, I can always take. Um, I also have f6, maybe. f6 and knight, c6, or do I play knight, c6 right away? I think I'll play knight, c6 right away. Rook d5, okay, I think I can play f6 here. Support the pawn, maybe bring the knight back to e7. I don't want to play rook d8, because if I ever take, it's check. F5 is playable, but I think I'll just go bishop f8 and bishop e7. Redevelop the bishop to a much better square. Maybe he's got f4, but I also have b5 here as an idea, um, along with rook d8 eventually. Okay, so he goes b4, so I can play b5 if I want to. I can also just play rook d8. Um, b5, knight b2, and then knight d3, knight... That looks a little bit iffy. Um, if I don't play b5, though, don't like b5. It feels loose. But b5, a3, a5, or b5, a, b4, whatever. Let's just do it. Um, I'm also down on the clock again, so I'm going to play a5 almost for sure next move. Or I can play rook d8. Depends where he goes with the knight. He goes to d2. I mean, a5 looks traditionally correct, but I'm going to play rook d8 and just slide my king back so that I can just take. Um, I can take, and if he takes, then I just move my knight. So that's why I played king f7. Um, let's take. If he takes with a pawn, I think I'll play knight d8, b7, d6. That makes a lot of sense here. Or knight... Um, I guess I'll go to d8. Now, maybe knight b7. Okay, play this rook c1 so he wants to play c4 i can also play c6 to challenge and he doesn't have c4 he'd have to play a3 so i think i'm probably okay already um I, uh price cassidy 123 says do i ever get recognized in public from time to time yes it does happen um i play a5 c4 what's going on a4 takes 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 rook a3 no that's no good um i think i'll just play rook c8 of c4 oh but he's, he can just take on b5 um where do I want the knight? B8 or D8? Um, um, D8 takes, takes, knight c1 takes, knight e2, knight c3 is a problem. Hmm. Or I can take... Ah, I don't like this position at all. Um, maybe just king e6? Takes, takes, knight a5, king d7. Should be okay. I'm not crazy about the position. Will Magnus get to 2900? Um... I have my doubts that he will, but again, you never know. Wait, do I have some trick? No, I don't have a trick. Okay. I guess I'll take and go king d5. Hit the rook. Uh, rook c1. I can play knight d4, maybe. Yeah, let's play knight d4 and rook c1. Okay. He's got a take. I take, and then... The point is I'm getting an active king here relative to a passive king, so he's got a take. 
Or does he? No, I mean, I guess he can move the king, but I'll pre-move trade anyway. Or no, he could go king d3 and then e4, so I can't really pre-move rook c1. Although I'm sure he's going to take on d4. Okay, it does take, so I take. And now the thing is, he's got the... He's got a passive king. He's going to try to put the knight on d2. I can play a5, but that looks... Uh, let's just play e4, f5, f4. Maybe, actually, you know what? I'm going to go king d5, not d4, because now he doesn't get knight b3. If king c3, I just check. f4. Um, he can't really activate these pawns either, because the bishop uh, control dominates them. Play g5. Maybe h5, king d4, b5. Okay, knight e2, king c4. Okay, I'm going to try to um, activate the pawns this way, like h4 maybe. Okay, now f3 and I can take, I think. Wait, but h3? h2, h1? Okay, that's just game over. Um, that was not that was not the Armenian technique that I'm used to on um, that game. But, all right, let's play a Sicilian. Why not? Um, I was going to play like Magnus. Uh, let's play like Peter Savidler. Let's play knight c3. Let's try to play like Peter Savidler and improve on Peter Savidler. Um, knight d2, knight f1. Ah, <laughs> he's gonna play like Magnus. <laughs> Plays knight d7 right away. That's hilarious. Okay, let's play knight d5. Takes, I'll take back. Um, probably c3 next to move. Uh, very flattish position. I think I'll play c3, cover, cover the d4 square, maybe knight f5 here. Um, I guess I'll play rook c1 here. Bishop f5, I can take and play f6. Um, so he wants to play g6, I guess. I'm not too worried about this. I'll just go back and play f4. Um, I could have played knight e3 and won a pawn, maybe. Maybe, whatever. He'll play f5, I'll take and play f4. So I'll pre-move ef5 in case he plays f5. I'm not sure he will. Thank you, Akila Angula, for donating 550 bits. I am now officially number one according to Twitch money well spent. Number, wait, number one what? Maybe I'll get checkmated with a smile like Zvidler. I will say that's one thing I have to give Peter is that he has allowed a couple um, a couple of these checkmates that um, he allows them sometimes that uh, have been pretty, pretty cute to see. Like he allowed this mate against Magnus. He had this mate against Vichy, which I think he talked about before. Um, I'm wearing the same shirt as a cheer gift. You know, you guys, I am I am a male after all. I'm not not female, so sometimes I do wear the same shirt. I know that might be a little bit surprising, but from time to time I do wear the same shirt. Uh, just saying. So I'll play. I have rook f four. Let's just play rook f four. Why not? Oh, leaderboards. You just say cheer now to be number one. Right. Correct. Okay. I can take with a c pawn, e pawn. I can even take with a knight. Odd is a knight d5. I don't know the queen g5, knight f6 looks good. Let's just take and I'll take and I'll dominate. He's got bad pawns everywhere because he played g6. Okay, I'm gonna chuck a pawn. I'm gonna try to play in the true traditional style of a uh, of Tal. Um so he takes, I go b3, he goes back. Maybe I can take, maybe I can even throw an h4. I guess I'll just play b3, support the pawn. I'm gonna go rook f1, maybe h4. I can play a4 here. Um, or rook f1. I don't know if I'm more what am what am I worried about? A4 looks good. Uh whoa, whoa, whoa. Now I go rook f1, rook h4, and queen h6 is an epic threat. Um this knight is just dominant. Whoa. What is this? What is this? H5, queen h6 is me. What is this? Um, okay, let's go again. B4, let's play knight f6. Um, let's play c5. Let's play like, let's play like a Bobby Fischer. Oh, e3, no d5. Oh, so sad. Let's play d5. Um, uh, what do we want to play here? I guess I'll play bishop b4. Just takes castles and b6. This knight bd7, queen c7. Uh, 
Someone says uh, they're talking about Queen C7. I think Knight G4 is okay. Wait. Wait, Bishop F3 and Queen H2 does not work here? Oh, apparently it does. Oh, did I just mess up? I just messed up the move order because he played Rook D1. This doesn't work with the Rook on D1, so now I'm probably going to end up in a world of hurt. Um, maybe just Knight H5, Knight F4 ideas to hit the Bishop. Bishop F1, probably Rook C8. I can always take on F3 maybe and go like Knight H6 or play for E5 right away. Um, let's play Queen B8, A, B6. Um, Drunken Smuggler says, good stream this music. Thank you, Gar. Thank you, Drunken Smug Smuggler. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. Who's A6? That's kind of a surprising move. Um, I can take... I think I'll go to A8. I just need to be careful about tricks like D5, C5 or something. But this bishop should remain open on the diagonal. Um, I take obviously takes and knight g6, hit the pawn. Weak pawn here, I can always go bishop c6 at some point or rook d8 and then queen c8. Okay, rook d6 is a good move. Let's just play. Hmm, this is not pleasant for me. Uh, how do I do this? I think I'm gonna play bishop c6, maybe knight e7, knight f5. Now I do have b5, that's kind of what I'm banking on here, but does it work? I'm gonna go for it. If he takes, I take. Um, maybe he can sack, but takes and rook a6 and queen b2, or just rook c7. I'll pre-move rook c6 because if he doesn't take, then it's irrelevant. Um, okay, takes, queen b5, bishop d4. Maybe knight e7, knight f5, fork the queen and the rook. Actually, knight f5 threatens to trap the rook as well because I cover the d7 square. So this might just be bad for white. Now I hit the rook, hit the queen, hit the pawn as well. Okay, I can take e5 or take takes rook c6, d7, rook d8. I don't see anything wrong with this. Okay, I obviously... Okay, if I trade, he takes rook c6, d7, rook d8. I don't see it. Wait a second. Okay, so takes rook c6, d7, rook d8, bishop b8 or something. Ah, okay, there is a trick here. So, I don't really want to trade, I don't think. Wait, but bishop b8 I take. No, no, I think I'm okay. d7, rook d8. Bishop b8, I can take and go rook d8 because I have king f8, king e7, and I'm going to be up a pawn in an endgame. Okay, rook d8. So he goes bishop b8, I think. If I'm not missing something. Rook b3, I can just go king f8. Or even rook d6, rook d7. Okay, so he does it. So I take, I play rook a8, I take. Aha, he's got tricks. Okay, let's play f6. Now I can run the king over and I just win. King f8 allowed bishop d6 e7, so that's why I have to play f6 to create the square. And now I go king e7. Uh, this is technically a draw, but I'm going to be up a pawn in an endgame. I'm up 20 seconds on the clock, so it's looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, do I want to play h5 or... I think I'll play g6, try to keep the pawn structure flexible. Maybe f5, king f6 now. It's getting a little bit hairy for white. It's still a draw, but it's. I feel like there are bound to be some tricks because I can run this way and run with the king up the board. Um, like check and king d5, and king e4 is coming. And I think like king, f, king e4 probably doesn't work. Um, maybe I'll just play rook e3 and run the king like this. And I can take on f4. Okay, he goes rook f6, maybe... Well, king g5. Maybe let's throw in a check. Rook h2, and now I'm going to... It's going to be... This is technically a draw with f and h, but there's no way he's going to hold this with, with 15 seconds on the clock. Um, play f4, h5. 
Okay, check. King g3, and now it's just losing for white. Okay. Or, yeah, actually, this is losing, I believe. Uh, let's throw in a check. Okay, and f... I think... King e2 and f2 is just winning. Check, and I take. GG. All right, thank you, Johnny DJ 316 for gifting a sub to Chess is Fun 3573. Thank you so much for gifting a sub, Johnny DJ 316. Let's play Bishop C4. Um, okay, plays Bishop B4. Knight G2 is fine. Um, I guess I'll play D3. Takes. I just okay. He'll play D5. Are we gonna play another end game? Harant seems very much in the mood to play a lot of end games tonight. Play, I mean, I don't know why Harant is in such a... Harant seems very uh, endgame happy tonight. Play bishop c2, bishop e3. a4, I don't like, so I'm going to play bishop e3, try to play against the knight. Um, I could play knight c1, knight d3. I could also play like b3. Don't love it though. a4 is a bit eh. A bit mad. Let's play king f2. So he wants to go maybe a3, maybe not. I've got to play against this knight and this bishop. These are slightly uh, problematic here. Uh, maybe just knight c1, knight d3 looks okay. Very drawish though, very flat. Um, uh, no, bishop c2 hangs a pawn. I think I'll play rook d2. Probably a3 and rook d1. I'm gonna play a3, I don't like it, but the rook is support, I have rook d1. Um, Bishop b3 doesn't really bother me that much. Maybe it does. Whatever. Let's just trade rooks. Um, and go back to e3, I guess. GOT is the GOAT. GOT is in Game of Thrones. So he's got a great bishop. My pawns aren't great, but I can still play rook c1, c4, try to break the pawn chain. Um, we'll probably... Yeah, we're going to see some pawn pushes over here on the king side, undoubtedly. Um... Although I don't know about h5, because now he gives me an f4 lever here that I'm definitely going to take advantage of. Um, he thinks the endgame is a way to draw and get rating, but this is online blitz, man. Come on. Rating, rating in online chess is a little bit silly if you're playing for rating. I mean, bishop h4, just king f3 or king g2. Um, thank you, Tufel Hunden, for the six-month resub. I'll go king g2. Uh, if rook e8, I then can play king f3 or bishop d3, bishop f3, both are playable. Bishop c2, maybe e5. Don't, bishop f3 has got rook d3, so I guess I'll play bishop d4. Um, close the d file, no bishop f6. And now I think I will start to try to... How will I play this? I guess king f2 makes sense. King f3, I'm worried about some f5, bishop d5 idea. Also, if f5 takes, takes. Now he loses the pawn in h5 as well. f5 is very interesting here. Um... And eh, why not? Who cares about rating? Let's have some fun. Now I've got an outside pawn against an f7 weakness. c5, bishop e3 looks okay. Um, I've also got rook e1 pinning the rook and the king, or the bishop and the king, I should say. Bishop f7 allows rook f8, um, and there are all kinds of issues with my king, so I can't do that. So I'll drop the bishop back. Keep an eye on these pawns here. He still has no rook h8, because so my bishop covers h8. Um, oh, that's a good move. Well, it's okay. I guess I can go king g2 of check, king h1. Um, and I should be fine. This h pawn is always going to be better than the f pawn in all these end games. Uh, have I ever been on a cruise ship? Yes, I went on a cruise when I was about 10 years old with my family. Um, I think it was the Caribbean mainly. I forget exactly where it was, but um, okay, check and rook d6. I mean, this is getting dangerous. Bishop c6 is coming. Okay, um, maybe just rook d4 hit the bishop. Oh, but I gave him bishop f2. He doesn't play it. Now I'm going to play h4. Oh, but I gave him bishop c1. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Whatever. Let's just go for it. h5, h6, h7. A little bit iffy. Maybe takes. I have rook b4, though. I've also got... Yeah, let's go rook b4 and takes. Okay. Rook b1. This h pawn is very fast. I've checked. His king is a little bit open here. Um... I guess I'll throw in a check. Um, I could play rook a1, a3, h. Very, very sharp. Thank you, uh, JWK Tiger, for the three month resub. Oh, but he's got this one. Um, 
guess I'll just go Bishop F4, then try to push the H pawn up the board. Okay, I'm up 20 seconds, so that's the good news. The bad news is that I'm down a pawn. So the good news is... Okay, Bishop G7. Um, play Rook C1. I always have H6 ideas. Not C4. Okay, now I'll go H6, kick the Bishop. Uh, I gotta do something here, though, because time is ticking away here. Um, maybe... Ugh, I've messed this up. Oh, but I can go bishop d6, a3. So, no, maybe not all hope is lost. Um, just bishop b4, support the pawn. Okay, now I'll go h7. This pawn is very far advanced now, so, like, rook h1. King e3. King d2. Now I think I, now I, think I got him. I think I tricked him sufficiently. Bishop is terrible. Maybe just uh, bishop f3. I think I got him here. Uh, like, bishop... Oh, I blundered rook d3! Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable. I, I was compl oh my gosh. I would have been I would have just won this game if I don't blunder there. Okay, but I still have a shot, maybe. Maybe. No, not really. But he can sack even. Okay, check. Oh, that's such a terrible blunder. Such a terrible blunder. Oh, but he's... Ah, he's got a block. Yeah. Oh, if I don't blunder that bishop, I would have won. That was such a careless blunder. Bishop... That was such a careless blunder. Ugh. Oh, well. It happens. That was really unfortunate because I finally, I finally had it, had a good position there after after everything was said and done, and I would have been able to win that game. But sometimes you blunder; it happens. It happens. Um, yeah, I should, blundering rook d three was so bad, so bad. But I'm up on time again this game, and you can't dwell on the past. Let's play c six, knight g four. Um, if he takes, I'll take. Um, I'll this castle. I can take next to move anyway. Uh, I'll pre move AB6. Let's take ED5. I've got knight g4 maybe. Bishop d4. I think e5 is playable. I also have bishop h6. Okay, just takes. Um, this is not uh, ideal for white, to say the least. I mean, this. Although, if I take, he takes. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's not so bad for white. Uh, so you can go knight g2 i'll play e6 we'll trade um have i seen the new star wars trailer yes i did see the new star wars trailer um i'm not gonna watch star wars uh let's trade i mean are we gonna play another end game seriously ah he plays bishop d4 okay but now i have bishop b5 and i can take the knight at least so i'm gonna be up a pawn it's not the best pawn in the world to be up but i'm gonna be up a pawn here um how do I do this? Is there any way I can keep the pawn? Maybe... Oh, no. Queen e5 is a big threat. So... Um, rook e8. Hmm. Maybe just queen d6. I'm willing to give up this pawn to save this one. I figure it's the only way to try and win. Um, okay, I can play d4... I can play rook d8. I think I'm going to play rook d8, rook d7, and just try to push this pawn up the board. Oh, but I gave him queen c6. Okay, I'm going to try to flag him, because this is already completely drawn. Okay, d3. Maybe rook d8. Try to run the king in. Okay. Play h5. Okay, how do I do this? Okay, I'll just put the pawn on a6, maybe king. Oh, I didn't mean f6. Oh, geez, that was a huge slip. Um, okay, whatever, I'll go g5. See if he trades. Um, do I think Disney is ruining Star Wars? I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the Disney movies. I mean, okay, let's try rook d4. Let's try to make this a little bit tricky here. If he takes, I'm going to take with a pawn. Try to create a second pass pawn. I'll take... I can take... Oh, and I have Rook H1. Yeah, he just blundered. He blundered. I'm not a fan of the Disney versions. I feel like they've ripped off... They've taken the essentials from what made Star Wars great, and they've just ripped it off to make, essentially, remakes of the old movies. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not happy with what Disney has done to Star Wars. Not even happy. I'm not happy at all. 
Playbrook F4, try to run this pawn up the board. I've got, I've got two pass pawns. Um, I don't know if this is actually winning, but it's da very dangerous for white here. Okay, let's play h3. But now I've got three pawns. He's got two connected. I guess I'll go king g5. I can check and play h2, I think. Isn't this just winning? h2 takes d2. I don't see it. I just have d2 and I make a queen. Both rooks control all the key squares. So um, I think this is just winning. Looks pretty good here, I think. Um, so takes, let's play d2. Takes, takes, okay, but now this is just winning. Um, maybe rook a2, hit the pawn. Uh, let's see, I have rook a3, I can also play like, how do I wanna do this? Rook f3, maybe I'll just play f5, run the f pawn. Let's play rook b1. Now he can't run the b pawn up the board. And this f pawn is going up the board really, really fast here. I've got rook a3, rook a4, I think. Um, okay, I take with check. King c3. Um, I mean, king f4 is a winning... Yeah, okay, I can just go king f4 and take the pawn. And his king's cut off by 20, 20 files here. So this is just winning, just takes and rook c7. And this king is so far away, just, um, I mean, there's no way white can salvage this. Okay, let's go again. Uh, let's try to play something that's not an end game. Um, okay, let's play d3, knight d2 maybe. Getting a little tired of all these end games. Play a game of 960 chess. Uh, yeah, I could play some 960, no reason that I can't. Uh, did he, didn't he play e6, e5? Okay, I'll take. Play bishop c4, put pressure on this pawn. Um, I like my position here. It's pretty pretty reasonable, maybe. Let's play c3. I think I have some trick with knight g5 here, if I remember correctly. Like uh Italy's fine wine says IP or stout. If you're if your username is Italy's fine wine, why are you asking me about beers? Um Okay, knight b6. So I have a free pawn here, and I'm just gonna grab it because why not? Um, oh, maybe I had queen a4 takes. Maybe that was slightly simpler, but it is still a clean pawn. I'm just up a nice clean pawn here for nothing. Um, so let's play rookie one, support the pawn. I can play knight e3. I can also play just queen c2. Looks completely reasonable as well. How's it going, Halvard F? Hope you're having a wonderful evening. Um, knight d7, he wants knight c5, obviously. Um, how do I do this? Maybe b4. I don't know about b4. I'll try it. I don't love it, but I'll do it. Okay, b5. I also have a3. Of course, b4 was just a terrible move. There was no good reason to play it. Um, Um, uh, how do I do this? Um, I don't really want to take. Guess I'll take and play bishop. Oh shoot! Then he's got knight d3, rook e3. Okay, should be okay. Knight d3, rook e3. Um, maybe rook e d1. Yeah, let's try to put pressure on the queen here. Queen c7, the knight e3. I guess again, I'm not happy with what has occurred here, but uh. Say it's terrible, but play it anyway. Now I go c4 and I try to plug the knight on d5. Um, so my position is starting to turn around and now it's starting to improve. Um, this should be two as possible. I can also take, if I take, which way is he taking? Queen takes? Queen takes knight b3. One, yeah, let's just take. Bishop c5, I have knight, okay. Queen takes, knight b3. I'm very close to being winning. If I can get the knight to d5, I'm probably winning, um, depending on this, where his pieces are. Knight d5 looks wrong, so I should just take. The, the rook is protected by the knight. If takes knight d5, bishop d8 anyway, I think rook d1 and knight d5 looks very strong here. So let's play rook d1, bishop b6, knight d5, and then I think I should just be up a pawn, and it should all be pretty good. If b5, I can even take, because I have checkmate, back rankers. Um, Hey, Chesbay94 is here. Um, 
How's it going? Chess Bay 94 is in the house. Um, I have G3, H3. I think I'll just play knight D5 here. B5, just C5. Um, okay, bishop G5, no threat. I'll play G3, try to try to fork the queen and the bishop with F4. Um, why is knight D5 so good? Because basically it, the pawn support the knight and it cuts off this, this sort of short diagonal from E6 to C4. So that's why knight D5 is so strong. And black doesn't want to take on D5 ever. Um, but he does take, sure enough. I mean, but now he's just busted. I have f4. I mean, if he goes f6, I have e5 winning the bishop. He has to go to h6 now. This is technically winning. I might bungle it, but this is technically winning for white now. Oh, I had h. I could have just taken h5. Why don't I take h5? Anyway, whatever. Queen b4. I have rook h5. C5 is good. But let's play this professionally. Let's make a check. Takes queen d3. Queen e1, king g2. Let's be very, very professional about this end game. And not give him any any false hopes uh, or delusions of grandeur. Let's play knight d4, h3. I just take. If takes, I take. Am I looking forward to Cote d'Ivoire? Yeah, it should be an interesting event. Um, it's going to be fun to play against Magnus again. Haven't played against Magnus in quite a while, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, okay, g6, maybe knight f3. Hit the queen. Queen d5 is a huge threat. Um, yeah, why not? I hit both pawns. If check, I always have king h3. Um, so it looks to be doing. I look to be doing quite well here. I like cote roti. I don't even know what cote roti means. That might, maybe that's an Indian dish or something. Uh, King G eight now ninety five and now F seven G six. The whole house collapses. So let's go again. We go again, boys. We go again. Let's play D five. Maybe E six. I could have taken two. Eh, whatever. If I took on C four, we would have had another end game. So I don't want that. Let's just play. Super Salt. Thank you, Rodrigo Bona, for the 2,000 bit donation. Fish about four. Let's castles. Oh, let's play B6. Let's take. Um, I mean, both moves are playable. I'm just going to take with Queen uh, Bishop B2. And queen A5 and Bishop A6 is completely reasonable here. It's like castles in C5, I believe. Um, knight C4 just takes, takes. Takes D4. Um, knight C6 because D5, I have rook D8 and queen C5. Um, I've got rook A D8 here. D6 or bishop B2, bishop B2. Queen C5 takes, takes, rook C1. Oh, let's go for it. I mean, maybe he can take, but then queen... I'll pre-move rook d1 just in case he takes, since I don't know what he'll do. Um, did Savidler, Levon, and MBL also say it was fun? <laughs> did they say it was fun? Okay. Okay, so bishop d2, queen c5, hit the bishop. If rook c1, I think I can just... What am I missing? I have knight e5, I guess I have to take. Um, like, queen d6, if takes, I just take and go king... Okay, he wants to play this one. We're going to play another end game for the millionth time. Um, this is starting to become very annoying now. Uh, maybe just d4, if takes, I'll take with the bishop. Again, we're, I'm gonna have this pass D pawn against um, whatever he he does here, D3. This is, again, starting to look very much like the last game. Or not last game, but the last time we had um, that I was black and he was white. So I'll play Rook D7. Let's just play, I don't know, F6, Bishop E6. I think I'll put the pawns on, on light squares, although that might be a mistake because now he hits this pawn. It's still okay though. Can play A5 maybe? And I want to put the pawn on a4 and get all light square pawns. Okay, now rook d5. Again, I support both pawns. If I can get this pawn to light square, the bishop can never attack anything. So rook c6. Okay, let's go a4. Now I got the pawns all in light squares like I wanted. The bishop can't touch any of these pawns. Um, I can play rook d8, maybe f5, f4. 
Um, but basically I got the structure I wanted with all these light square pawns. I can take and open a file if I take though, but if I don't take, it's probably, eh, it's tough. I guess I'll take. And now let's play, not rook a8, because then he goes rook c3, maybe bishop b4. Or um, maybe I'll try f5. Again, try to put all the pawns on the light squares now. Rook c7, maybe just bishop b4. If bishop d2, I can always play like bishop c5 or bishop d6. Actually, I can even take and play rook a8 ideas, maybe. Okay, let's see. If I go bishop c5, you can take them. Um, hmm. I don't really want to take. I don't want to play bishop d6. I'm also way down on the clock, so. Oh, but I gave him bishop c3. Whoops. Okay, now I've got now I've got to bail out and just make a draw. King h7. F4. Okay, F4 is a mistake because now, now there's no idea with takes and bishop b4 because the rooks are on light squares. So I'm starting to make progress here. Maybe just rook d7. Idea to play d2. And I think I'm I'm not better yet, but it's getting a little bit dangerous for white now. Okay, let's play d2. King e2, bishop b4. Protect the pawn. Now I can play rook a7 or rook d3. There's also rook e7 with the king and the bishop. Uh, the bishop supports d2 very nicely. Okay, rook b8, um, maybe rook e7, bishop d6 ideas are lurking now. Bishop c3 actually is even stronger. Um, so he has to move the king somewhere, and then I'm planning on rook d3, I think. Or rook e5, actually rook takes e5, mate. or okay, king f2, takes, takes, rook d8, not quite, it's not quite there. Uh, let's play rook a7, maybe rook a3 ideas. I've got to move faster, I'm moving too slowly. Maybe rook c7, bishop f8, or whatever. I'll just take and play king h6. If g4, I've got check. I also have rook h3 and king g4 takes. Play rook d3. Maybe rook G f3 is an idea here. Let's go king h7, king g8, king. If rook a1, I make a queen and I can block. Um, king f8. Now, I mean, now white's definitely in trouble, like rook f3. Rook e3 and rook e1 is coming. Okay, one rook a3. Okay, rook e1 and this king e8 takes. This should be one, rook e3. Yeah, that's just over. Takes, takes. Bishop c3 and uh, just king e7 and now I just win. Game over. All right, we go again. Um, pretty good. Let's play e4, knight, knight c3. Let's play queen e2 and takes. Um, this is just, uh, I think Nepo against me. Nepo was playing d3, as I recall. So I'll play like Nepo played. Nepo was playing d3. So I'm going to play. Oh, but we're going to get another end game. Blah. Blah. Play bishop f4. F6, e5. Um, Thank you so much, Schwins, for uh, subscribing with uh, with Twitch Prime 92. Hit the pawn in honor of Nepo Man. Yuck! End game. I don't mind playing end games, but I might, I don't like playing end games every single game. Every single game out of the opening, it's an end game, which is not not very uh, inspiring or stimulating. Um, uh, Grippy Ray says, Hikaru, what's something you aren't good at? Well, I mean, I'm not good at a Fortnite for starters. So, uh, for starters, I'm not good at Fortnite. Define the laws of gravity. Like Lady Godiva. Oh, 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 there's no stopping me. What is, I'm really confused. Haran's playing all these weird knight moves, like, I mean, F6, I can play. Let's just blast. He's wasted 20 tempo developing. So I'm just going to blast it. Because he went like, what did he do? He went like, played like one, two, three, four, five knight moves in the opening. So let's just go after him. Let's go for the kill. I mean, how many moves has Harant made with the knights? Let's see. So, well, I can't see now. But uh, he's got issues here. Rookie one or no, rook d4 looks good. I prevent him from castling. I hit the bishop. 
I'm gonna go bishop c4 and rook e1. He's got huge issues on this diagonal. So I really like my position here. But now that I have time, let's see. So he played one. Knight d7 was one. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So he played six of his first 17 moves were knight moves, which is just ridiculous. Um, he wants bishop c5 here. Rook f4, bishop c4, bishop c5, or bishop... Uh, let's play bishop d3. So if he takes, bishop c5 doesn't actually tempo the rook. And then he's got this huge issue still with this diagonal to deal with. Um, so rook e1, um, or I can play rook g3, or rook, rook e1, rook e1, rook d3, bishop g7, king d7 takes, bishop h6, king g1, rook d2. Not perfect. Um, yeah, maybe rook e3 here. Because bishop c5, now I have bishop d4 check to interpose. Um, king d7, maybe rook f1, idea rook f7. Try to put tons of pressure on the king. Uh, let's play rook f7, rook e7. I also still have rook d3. Rook f7, rook e7, takes, 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 rook g8. I mean, this is so close to winning here, but it's not quite there. I guess I'll just play king d2. Bishop c5, I'll just throw in a check, takes, and rook f7. Um... Somehow after wasting all these tempo, I think black is still kind of okay, which is just absurd. Um, seven. Oh, he's got rookie seven. Okay, I'm gonna have to flag him then. Let's stick to the flag approach. Oh, rook d8. Interesting. Oh, I might have issues flagging him here. Maybe I'm even slightly worse. Um, let's take go bishop f2, hit the pawn on a7. g4, h3. Let's play g4. Play h4. Idea to play g5. Maybe h5. I think I'll just play g5. Kick the bishop. And maybe just... Um, c3. He's going to play g6, rook f3. I've got this problem. Pawns are on dark squares, which is not what I want, but I still shouldn't be much worse. F4. Okay, throw in a check. I don't want to exchange here. Rook e2. Maybe just bishop e1. B5. Um... Play b3. I just have to move fast. I gotta go for the flag here. Um, if I take, is he take? I'll take. I am not sure which way he's taking here. Okay, it takes this way. Okay, but now, now, now it should be fine. Maybe rook g6 is rook f7 is an idea, or rook f6. This is not gonna get it done, but I'm still up on the clock, so. Um, ah, uh, shoot. Okay, whatever. Go for the flag. Oh, gross. Okay. Okay, takes. Okay, there we go. Much better. And better, better, better. A win is a win. Okay, um, let's play the Karo Khan again. Do I like the Simpsons? Of course I like the... Oh, man. He, wa he wants to play all these super dry lines. I'm not in the mood to play dry chess right now, so I'm going to take some chances with Queen d5, play Knight f6, g6. This is obviously quite bunky and quite bad, but I'll go for it anyway. Oh, it's castles.
Um, let's just play b6, bishop b7, e6, knight d7. d5, I'll just take. I have h6, maybe. Okay, I can play rook e8, maybe a6. Idea b5 to force a4. Um, and now I think I'm going to do some weird stuff. Maybe queen c7, rook e8. If bishop f4, just queen c8. I want to go rook a or fd8. Um, and do something. Okay, plays d6, which is kind of surprising. I'll go queen c8. Knight e5, I can always just take. I've got knight e4 tricks. Um, so I think I'm doing pretty well here. So queen f4, logical move. I can take. I can also play h6 and some weird bishop f3. Wonder what's going... Okay, if I play h6, takes, 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 bishop f3, gf3, queen c6. Very interesting. Um... If I don't do that, I'm probably just worse. So let's let's go for it. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna play like queen c6, hit both pawns on um on these squares. I mean, I think he has to take. I don't. I could also throw a knight. No, I can't. Okay, so I'll pre-move bishop h6 and then bishop f3. Let's take and play um queen c6. So I'm hitting both pawns. Now, I have queen f3 here. Oh, then he's got bishop g2. What am I thinking? Okay. Um, maybe just rook, rook a e8, I think. Because I don't want to run into ideas on this diagonal. So maybe I play rook a8, b5, b4. Maybe c4, knight c5. He'll probably take. So I'll pre move rook e8. He does not. So now I take. He can't take. So he hangs the pawn. Queen e3, rook e8. Maybe knight e5. Oh, but a6 is hanging. Oh, shoot. A6 is hanging. Oh, yeah, yeah. Knight e5, maybe? Maybe knight... Let's play knight h5, hit the queen, and then knight e5. I forgot that this pawn was hanging here. Oh, that's unfortunate. But actually, where does this queen go to protect f3? Maybe he has no squares here. Okay, so I have knight e5, queen d5, knight f3, king h1, and I guess I'm just losing there? Or, actually, what about knight e5, knight f... Let's try knight e5, queen d5, queen d7. Because knight f4 is a huge threat hitting the queen, hitting h3. Everything is kind of uh, under attack here. Uh, thank you, M for 99 for subscribing with Twitch Prime. I also have knight f6 as well to hit the queen, and this pawn can't be defended. Okay, so he goes king h2, so I think I'll play knight f6, hit the queen. Now he can't salvage f3, so I think this is just losing. Um, maybe he can still try queen b3, but then I take and knight d4. This should be losing. Check. Uh, knight d4, or... No, queen c6 can't be right. Knight d4, queen b6. This must be winning somehow. Um, play rook b. Um, knight e4, queen b6, queen f5. Queen f5, bishop g2. Queen c6, bishop g2. Whatever, let's just play it safe. Knight e5, I just take. Queen f3, I think. Oh, but, oh, this is a huge problem. Oh, shoot. Okay, king g7, maybe rook f8. I've also got rook h8. Okay, no rook e1, because he hangs the pawn. Queen g3, let's just play rook e8. A rook h8 was maybe slightly better. Okay. D1. Um, maybe rook e4, hit the bishop. Uh, I mean, there's knight c6 and rook d4. Okay, that has to be wrong, because now I can start to go on the offensive. a4 is hanging. And now the knight is golden, he can't push either pawn. Okay, he's trying to sack. So I just need to be a little bit careful here and not do anything insane, and I should win. This rook d4 and takes looks fine. Am I missing something? Oh my gosh, he has a, oh shoot. Oh shoot.
But now I can block and go king h7. That's not going to get it done. Um, that's not going to get it done. Is Danny actually in live chess? I don't see... Oh, he is in live chess. Okay, you guys. So I think that's enough against Haran. I'm going to actually run to the restroom very quickly.